GM, there is no second best Bitcoin investor, Michael Saylor, yet again, showing us the way with a huge purchase, almost $350 million worth of Bitcoin in his bag for micro strategy. So this taking the headlines over the last evening, Bitcoin price actually down off the back of this news. Let's dive into whether or not he's a bit of a top signal in the market. And if you enjoy this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So as we can see, Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy now owns over $4 billion worth of Bitcoin. The MicroStrategy stock itself doing pretty damn well. They're up 138% over the last six months. And funnily enough, he's been selling the MicroStrategy stock in order to finance more Bitcoin purchases. What a crazy damn flywheel he's got going on. Famous words from Michael Saylor include this, I'll be buying Bitcoin at the top forever. Remember, it's going up forever, Laura. It's going up forever. So as a publicly traded company, there are many instances of this. Michael Saylor tweeting out showing the exact prices at which he's been buying his Bitcoins, how much he's been buying them for, how much MicroStrategy holds, and the average costs as well. So a lot of people have been stating, look, he keeps buying the tops and this is why people are selling when he buys, almost seeing Saylor's announcements as a bit of exit liquidity. But has this been correct? Is this the good thing to do? Should you be selling when he buys? Well, let's jump into the chart here. So Sailor bought, is it time to dump it as the famous meme goes? Yes. Bogdanov, he did it. He bought. He went to all in. Dump it. Well, let's look back on some brief history here. So each cycle, we have some big news that kicks off things. In terms of the last cycle, we had Michael Saylor, August the 11th, 2020. MicroStrategy confirms a purchase of $250 million of Bitcoin. Of course, every time they do these purchases and they announce them, they've been buying them typically within the 30 days preceding the announcement. So if you see like a markup before the announcements, that's typically them pretty much t wapping in and buying up tons of Bitcoin, causing the price to go up. Just a month later, September 15th, 2020, MicroStrategy buys an additional $175 million. At this point, things are looking pretty rosy as the crypto markets are ticking up. We have a big new player in town. Someone wants to scoop up all the Bitcoins. The halving has just passed and people are FOMOing in. Continue the FOMO, please, Michael. December 21st, 2020, 29,646 more Bitcoins are purchased. 1.125 billion is the total outlay at that point, and an average price paid of just under 16,000 US. So at that point of the announcement, Bitcoin is trading at $25,900. So they are in some healthy profits here. They've made pushing towards a billion dollars on their acquisitions at that point. So up to this point, if we just mark it off, Sailor is doing exceptionally well. But let's just zoom in. Now on the left hand of the screen, this is towards the start of the year, Q1 of 2021. The bull market is in swing due to the fact Bitcoin has ticked up significantly. March the 1st, 2021, now they've spent a total outlay of 2.2 billion and own 90,859 Bitcoins. So during the previous period, going from like 1.25 billion, they've now spent another billion dollars during this phase to acquire more Bitcoins. And they have, along with that, brought up their average price. So prior to this, he's definitely in huge profits. Now things are looking like they're topping out. And you're kind of seeing this pattern. MicroStrategy buys and the price is no longer doing much. The market cycle pretty much tops here in May. And then we have a sharp, sharp decline. It's through this summer period where everything goes quiet. The crypto market's in despair. 
But if we just fast forward here, December 29th of 2021, we've just peaked out for the second time and potentially Sailor here is the one marking near the top as they would have been buying throughout the end of November, start of December. MicroStrategy purchases 1,914 Bitcoins. Average price paid here upon the announcement, $49,000 US. So on that batch of purchases, 1,914 Bitcoins, the average price they got them for was 49k. This then turns out to be a bit of a bad purchase strategy because the crypto markets just keep going down and down and down. January 31st, so just a month later, they buy an additional 660 Bitcoins. Obviously at that point, they're not buying as much. This one of their smaller Bitcoin purchases, but average price paid throughout that period, $37,000. Now it's at this point where they can't even prop up the markets themselves. And you can see Bitcoin continues its steep decline down. So from their initial purchases, everything was going up only. Then we start to see purchases where they're at the top. They're actually buying and prices still going down. They're kind of DCing their way down though. Massive kudos to him. This guy has a giant set of balls. Imagine being underwater like a billion dollars plus with a board breathing down your neck. Can't be fun. And then we have June 28th of 2022. So last summer, they start to buy yet again, 480 Bitcoins at this point in time. Throughout this period though, you can see the Bitcoin market is collapsing still. Scams, fraud and other things still ongoing. But average price paid for those batch of coins is 30K. But Bitcoin at this point is now trading around a low 20Ks. So the kind of recency bias here and moving on to the next one, you can see they're buying and the price is just dipping. And on a much smaller time frame, back when this was happening, every time he was purchasing, it was a local top on the charts, unfortunately. And it seemed to be that maybe other whales in the industry were selling their coins each time he was announcing a purchase. But bringing it into the start of the new year here, right at the back end of 2022, December 27th, 2,500 Bitcoins are purchased. Price then starts to go up in Q1. Of course, people thought the market was dead at the end of December. Sailor doesn't, DCA strategy in full effect. And then we have April the 4th here, buying yet another 1,045 BTC. Again, this is marking up the price. He seems to be the big marginal buyer on Coinbase that you may have spotted. And yes, yet again, he is buying near the tops. However, yesterday, June 27th, 2023, Bitcoin buys from MicroStrategy, 12,333 Bitcoins. They're now holding a sum total of 152,333 Bitcoins. And their average price paid, now they are above water, 29,668. We are trading 1K above that at this point, making MicroStrategy highly profitable on those trades. So this from Hasaka Trades, the initial moments after he purchases are the subconscious PTSD driven reactionary phase. People are programmed into sailor buys, the market dumps off. And that's what happened yesterday. People were calling for new lows. Sentiment was really freaking bad, even though we hardly tickled 30k flat. And now he says sailor PTSD stricken traders are punished back to our regular scheduled programming of waiting for the next Bitcoin move up and then digging in our bag of narrative to ascribe one to the move. But it does seem that the narrative is sailor is the sailor of this cycle as well. And what he's doing right now is marking up the price of Bitcoin before the ETF is approved, before these large institutions really get their beaks wet. And he's front running a load of TradFi investors at this point. So him marking up price alone right now, if he is the major marginal buyer in the market, is highly bullish when you think about all these investment funds that are still to come. So there truly is no second best DCA -er of Bitcoin. He doesn't mind being underwater for large periods, but in the end, I do believe Michael Saylor will have the last laugh and his company will have one of the largest balance sheets ever to be recorded. Imagine the laser eyes at 100K is gonna be bloody epic. I'll leave you with this Sailor Classic and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There's no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There's no second best, okay? It's not it's not like Google and Facebook. It's not like Apple and Amazon. Yeah, we, we, we can debate Apple or Amazon, what's better? They both look like tech monopolies to me. They both look pretty good. On the other end, 
Bitcoin or no? Bitcoin. Bitcoin's crypto asset. This entire idea of like 60% dominance is bullshit, ridiculous, stupid, right? Like, it's stupid. It's not 6% dominant. It's like 96% or 95% dominant, right? The thing, and if you compare it as a crypto asset to a like kind of proof of work crypto network, right? There's meant to be a store of value. You know, you're lucky if you find it, you can scrape together 5% of other stuff in the last bucket, so there is no real competition.